Hi book lovers! Welcome back to my channel. I am back with another list of book recommendations to share today. This time these are romances that are available on Kindle Unlimited. These are books that I've read and enjoyed so much over the last few months, so April through July. My last KU Rex video was for the beginning of the year. I'm trying to make it a more periodic thing, so that one was my favorites of January through March. This time it's April through July, but if you missed that first video be sure to check it out. Today though I have 15 romances to recommend. Again, they're all on KU. Some of them also have free audiobooks on KU, and a couple you might have already heard me talking about in my best of the year so far video. So let's just jump into it. These are 15 books that you definitely need to pick up if you have a KU. This first one is one of my recent favorites. I loved the heck out of this one. It's called The Favor by Suzanne Wright. It actually took me by surprise how much I adore this one. It is definitely a new favorite of the year for me. It's it's a marriage of convenience romance between a boss and assistant, and of course he is a grump. Dane isn't exactly the asshole hero, but he is very much the ruthless CEO kind of guy. But oh my gosh, I loved his possessiveness and protectiveness over Vienna, the heroine. This hero has to get married in order to get his trust fund, and the only one who he wants as his wife is Vienna. She knows him like no one else does. She stands up to him like no one else does, so they are a match made in heaven. The only way he gets her to say yes, though, to this marriage of convenience is by calling in the favor that she owes him. There is some fun ex drama. The heroine has an ex that wants her back, so cue all the good jealousy on Dane's part. Of course, there's a fake relationship aspect with Dane and Vienna having to pretend to the public that they are all lovey dovey, that the marriage is real. There's so much amazing chemistry and attraction between them, and oh my gosh, this book is so hot. I forgot how hot Suzanne Wright's books are. I've read her paranormal romances, and those are steamy, but in like a werewolf alpha type of way, but The Favor also has the same vibe to it, even though it's contemporary. Dane is so intense with the way he wants Vienna, and when they get together, it's like sparks are exploding. I'm just a huge sucker for marriage of convenience in general, especially the office romance kind. I've read some incredible ones, and this is another new favorite. It absolutely hit the spot for me, and I loved everything about it. My next recommendation is yet another marriage of convenience romance. This is Forever After All by Katarina Mara. This is one of her standalones, and it's also got the best friend's older brother trope. It's got all sorts of juicy drama, another possessive hero. I mean, when you combine marriage of convenience with a possessive hero, it's the perfect combination for me. So in this one, the heroine Elena, she comes from money, but since her mother has been in a coma, she's become broke from paying all of her mother's hospital bills. Her last resort is to sell herself, sell her body at this gentleman's club for money that she desperately needs. And right when she's about to do that, she gets saved by her childhood best friend's older brother, Alexander. Alec is your classic alpha billionaire hero who tries to be all cold to the heroine, but he grows so soft for her instead. He's the type of hero who swears that he'll never fall in love, that he'll never be able to give any love to Elena, but that obviously goes out the window. It gets very dramatic, especially with the whole mom in a coma thing. It is very soap opery, but so entertaining. I really enjoyed this romance. It's super fun and entertaining and exactly what I wanted in a marriage of convenience romance. And then anyone who is in a fantasy romance mood and hasn't read Bewitched by Laura Thalassa yet, this is your sign to do it right now. I love this first book. It's a brand new series from Laura Thalassa. It's all about witches and magic. It's set at this college. The heroine is trying to get initiated into a coven, and the only way to do that is through two things. She has to get a familiar, which she does. She ends up with a freaking panther, which is so cool. If I were a witch and I had a familiar, I would definitely want a panther. And the second thing she has to do is go on this grand quest, which ends up being her accidentally waking up the hero, who is this ancient cursed king. Memnon wakes up and wants revenge against Selene for some reason because he thinks that she is his wife, his like ancient wife who actually cursed him in this eternal sleep. I really love the world here. I mean, it's like the real world, but just with 
different paranormal creatures, lots of magic, and the magic system is really interesting too. And the romance is great, especially if you love a good anti-hero. I mean, Memnon is literally an evil warlock who is obsessed with the heroine. He calls her his wife, his empress all the time, so... I loved him. The only unfortunate thing is that we do have to wait for the sequels. It's going to be a trilogy, but I still highly recommend it if you're craving a good fantasy romance. And then a book that I've been recommending a lot lately is Glitch by Brianna Michaels. I can't stop talking about this one. It was so good, so much fun. It is the perfect novella if you're looking for something short and steamy. The hero here is utter perfection. Glitch had me swooning like crazy. He is tattooed. He's a nerd. He's all about gaming and computers. He has the perfect voice he uses to narrate romance audiobooks, and he is absolutely obsessed with the heroine. They're both gamers, they're gaming buddies, and they've wanted each other for a long time. They finally meet though when she needs help with her computer and it's just perfection between them. They are so hot in person. Oh my gosh, the kinks here are great. So much good dirty talk. He loves to praise her. He calls her Kitty and he is just such a generous man both in and out of bed. I just adore reading about a hero who adores his heroine. So this was perfect. Another paranormal romance that I really enjoyed that is on KU is His Curvy Rejected Mate by Kate C. Wells. Kate C. Wells is kind of my go-to now when it comes to some groveling romances. I will forever love her and be grateful to her for writing The Tyrant Alpha's Rejected Mate, which is book one in the series, the five-pack series. His Curvy Rejected Mate is book four. I didn't love it quite as much as book one, but it still did hit the spot for me. We're in a new wolf shifter pack now, but the leadership here sucks like crazy. The heroine has been bullied her entire life for being curvy because being a shifter and being curvy are mutually exclusive, except it's not because she exists. So she's always felt like an outsider in her own pack, and the hero, her mate, has never helped in changing that. It starts off terribly with the hero just constantly using the heroine until the whole faded mate thing happens. He rejects her in front of everyone because it is another rejected mate romance. Flora decides to take charge of her life now. She leaves her ungrateful pack to find another pack who will welcome her. Alec chases after her pretty much immediately. Um, this is his grovel. He grovels through his actions trying to show her that he regrets what he did, regrets how he treated her, and now he is in it for life. I'm always gonna love reading about a remorseful, regretful hero who does everything he can to try to make it up to the heroine. So this is good if you're looking for something along those vibes. Another recent favorite of mine, one of my favorites of the year, is a mafia romance. This is called Scarred Regrets by Adelaide Forrest. It's book five in a series, the Blondie Crime Syndicate series, and this one is by far the best one. It's like leagues better than the other books. And yes, you can read it as a standalone, each book is about a different couple. This one has my favorite couple, Irina and Scar. They both have some very tragic backgrounds. Scar more so because he has grown up into a man who can't stand the touch of another person. He's now working in the mafia for the Bolandi family as one of their bodyguards, and this is how he meets the heroine. It's very much insta-lust and insta-love, but it worked because he still can't stand the touch of another person, let alone the heroine. They have a lot to work through. She tries to seduce him until he finally does claim her for himself, but only he can touch her and she still can't touch him. He's all possessive and obsessive, borderline stalkerish, because that's just the type of hero that Adelaide Forrest writes, and I'm super into it. But this is when things get very, very dark for this book. Like, please check the trigger warnings for this one because it gets brutal. Through it all, the romance is just so, so beautiful. I adore this one. I highly recommend it if you love mafia romances. Before I get into the rest of this video, I did want to share today's sponsor, which is Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa is a jewelry brand. They offer long-lasting, tarnish-resistant jewelry that you can feel good about wearing because they are sustainable. They're very affordable. Their pieces start at $39, and I do also have a discount code. You can save 20% off your order when you use my code LACYBOOKLOVERS20. So the pieces that I'm currently wearing right now, the earrings are called Rocks Medium. It's a very simple, delicate design, but I do love how it's not the typical hoop 
shape. Though of course I still love my hoops because I got this pair. These are called the Venus earrings, which are sweet little hoops. They're not too big, not too small, definitely perfect for like a professional setting. And then the necklace that I'm wearing is called a Vita. I freaking love delicate necklaces like this. And then for the other pieces that I've been wearing since I got them, like this ring that I'm wearing right here, it's called Pax. It's got a crisscross with some crystals. It is so, so cute. And then an absolute staple pair of earrings for me is this pair. This is called the Ashley Double. I love some nice dangling earrings. And this one I love because of the double hoops. So I'll leave a link down below for you to check out Anna Luisa. Again, you can use my discount code LACYBOOKLOVERS20 for 20% off. And once again, thank you to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. This next recommendation you can also listen to for free on Kindle Unlimited. This is Beauty and the Baller by Elsa Madden Mills. It's a small town romance. The main characters are new neighbors and they also start some fake dating. This is the first standalone in the Strangers in Love series. The main characters here had a one night stand a couple years ago at this party and this was right after the hero lost his career as an NFL quarterback and also lost his fiance in a car accident. But this one night stand was the first time that Ronan was able to forget everything and just have this time for himself. Unfortunately, they did not leave each other's numbers. Fast forward a couple years later, they have now become new neighbors in this small town. Unfortunately for Nova, Ronan doesn't recognize her at all, so she's a little bit insulted. But there's a lot of great force proximity here with them being neighbors, like they see each other all the time, they bump into each other all the time, and then the hero comes up with this fake dating scheme to try to get all the ladies in town to try to stop matchmaking him with their daughters. It's a very sweet small town romance. We have this nosy community that's all up in the main character's business. The actual fake dating was fun, nothing too angsty or dramatic. It's just a very feel-good read. My next KU recommendation that you can also grab the audiobook of for free is The Do-Over by T.L. Swan. This is book four in the Miles High Club series. It's Christopher's romance. He is the fourth and last brother to get his book. He is the youngest and this book is easily my favorite favorite of the series. Christopher being the youngest of the boys, he has been spoiled his whole life and his brothers make fun of him for that. So to show them that he is not the spoiled brat that he is, he decides to go on this backpacking trip to Europe for about a year with little to no amenities. Predictably, he struggles so hard and it is hilarious. He gets humbled very quickly. And not only that, he meets the heroine during this trip. She's also backpacking and she rejects him hard. So this poor man is just going through it, but I thought it was so funny and so entertaining. It's a friends to lovers romance. She does friend zone him, but Christopher pretty much spends the whole rest of the book trying to win her over. It's super fun, very sweet, and again, this is my favorite of the series. Another favorite that I feel like I've talked about a million times on my channel is the Mindfuck series by St. Abby. This whole series is on KU. I have the bind up here of the paperback. These are all five books in the series in one omnibus. I I could not put the series down as soon as I finished book one. I just inhaled the rest of the books. It was an absolute mindfuck of a series. It's this dark romance about a serial killer heroine and the FBI agent who is falling for her but also is trying to hunt her down. It gets so dark and twisted. It's all about getting revenge on the people who hurt you. It gets graphic and messy and it was so so addicting to read. I know there is so much hype around this book but I swear it lived up to all of it. I do have a reading vlog of this book up on my channel if you want to check it out. I go through all the emotions reading this one. I also can't not recommend a book with one of my new favorite book boyfriends. This is King of Pride by Anna Huang. Kai is my man. He is my dream man and I will forever be sad that he does not exist in real life. He's a quiet and reserved CEO billionaire and of course his heroine is his total opposite. Isabella is loud and fun and everything that Kai isn't so this is a fantastic opposites attract romance. It's also a very sweet romance. Like it's fairly low drama for a Anna Huang book, but that's kind of why I like this so much. It definitely worked for Kai and Isabella because they're not really messy characters. They meet through mutual friends, but they see each other a lot more because she works at this club, the Valhalla Club, where Kai is one of its members. They have to meet up in secret though because there's this no fraternization policy, but these two are just so cute together. I adored them. I loved how good Kai was to Isabella. He 
treated her so well. This romance just made me swoon. And then I do have a monster romance to recommend for all the monster lover girlies. If you have not read a dinosaur monster romance yet, well, here's your chance because I have to recommend Sexual Tyrannosaurus by Cassandra and Elizabeth Gannon. Technically, this is two books in one. Each author wrote a different book and the only one that I read was one by Cassandra Gannon, who I love. Her book was called Taming the Tyrant Lizard and yes, we do have a lizard T-Rex dinosaur monster hero here. I mean, he's not full T-Rex, he does have some humanoid aspects, but He's basically a dinosaur. Knox is also the king of the dinosaurs and he's a single dad and he has a terrible relationship with his son. So he's trying to find a nanny to help him take care of him. This is where the heroine comes in. She is the queen of the Amazons and she pretends to be a nanny, which she has absolutely no experience in, but she pretends to be good. She makes up this fake resume in order to get hired by Knox so she can infiltrate his castle. This is all basically to save world, but we have a falling for the nanny monster romance here. It is so funny. Knox's son is hilarious, but the main characters are fantastic here. It is over the top and ridiculous, but that's what you can expect if you read Cassandra Gannon. I mean, yes, this is a book that you can't really take seriously, but I still had the best time reading it. I'm also recommending Keep Her Safe by QB Tyler. This is her newest release, her newest standalone romance, and it's a bodyguard romance. It's hot and forbidden between a celebrity actress and her longtime bodyguard, and they have both wanted each other for a very long time. It starts off with the heroine Shay finding out that her boyfriend has been cheating on her, so she decides this is finally her time to go after the man that she really wants, which is her very hot protective bodyguard, Damien. These two are the definition of pining. They've wanted each other since the moment that they first met, like five years ago, but Shay was too young and they try to keep things professional between them. All bets are off now though, now that Shay is free, cause she wants Damien badly. She goes after him hard and he can't resist. So it gets very hot between them, very steamy. I mean, if you've read QB Tyler before, you know how spicy her books can get. There's also a couple of twists and turns here with a suspense. There's the stalker going after Shay and her loved ones. This in turn only makes Damien even more protective and possessive over her. So this book was fun. We have a ton of steam, a little bit of angst, some suspense. It was a great read. I also love loved My Dark Romeo by Parker S. Huntington and L.J. Shen. This book was so funny. Oh my gosh, it was ridiculous and entertaining. I love the characters here. I love the main characters. I love the hero's best friends. They were all so, so good. But the heroine was easily my favorite here just because I loved how much of a foodie she was. She was obsessed with food and also had the time of her life spending the hero's money. So the book is an arranged marriage romance. We do have some Romeo and Juliet vibes here. I mean, the hero, his name is Romeo, and he forces the heroine's hand in marriage when he ruins her reputation in front of everyone at a party. The reason why he does this is to get revenge against her fiance, the guy she was actually supposed to marry, who is Romeo's biggest rival. So Romeo steals his rival's fiance from under him, marries her instead, and they have such a messy marriage. It is ridiculous. Dallas does everything she can to make Romeo's life miserable but he kind of loves it. There's so much fun banter between them. They're constantly going head to head. It's just never ending shenanigans between these two. So there's really never a dull moment in this book. We have enemies to lovers, an arranged marriage, very, very rich characters, and a slight slow burn here too, but everything just worked perfectly well together. My second to last recommendation is Be With Me by Samantha Young. This is book four in the Adair series, which I do recommend as a whole. I adore this series, but this is the one that I read the most recently. It's the perfect book, the perfect series. If you love hot Scottish men with Scottish accents, I mean, the audiobooks are fantastic. And it's also great if you love small towns, suspense, and mystery. The hero here is the youngest of the Adair family, but he's not the last one to get his book. We have friends to lovers here, and it is so, so sweet. The heroine works for his family's estate. She works as this yoga instructor, and the main characters have been friends for a while until they start up this friends with benefits situation, even though the hero has wanted the heroine for a very long time. So even though he loves the friends with benefits situation, he also 
wants more. So I love the fact that the hero falls first here. He knows that Aradine has this secretive, mysterious, and tragic past, so he does let her set the pace. He's such a sweet, nice guy. I adore these two together. I love the family dynamics when it comes to the Adair family. Like, I do highly recommend reading the series in order just because of how close the whole family, all the couples are. The whole series is also in KU too, so I highly recommend you check it out. And my last recommendation is one of my top three reads of 2023, at least so far. It is Liars Like Us by JT Geisinger. I don't know what it is about these over-the-top entertaining reads, but I have been loving them so much this year. Liars Like Us, I keep calling it a dark rom-com because that's what it is. It's so funny, but it also has some dark romance vibes to it. I mean, the hero, he is simply unhinged. Callum is a psychopath. He is this morally gray, insanely obsessed hero who will do anything and everything to have the heroine. Callum is very clearly a psychopath to the reader, but the thing is that the heroine has no idea about it. She just thinks that he's this filthy rich guy who's used to getting what he wants, and I mean, he is that. Liars Like Us is yet another Marriage of Convenience romance on this list. I feel like I have to do a Marriage of Convenience recommendations video now after talking about all of these, but this book was just so damn hilarious. I was cracking up over all the ridiculous things that the hero was doing. He was just so unhinged over the way that he wanted Emery. The banter was fantastic between them. Their chemistry was fire. Oh my gosh. Callum's dirty talk is chef's kiss here. I just ate this book up. It was so perfect for me. I mean, when you have a hero who offers the heroine 20 million dollars to marry him, I can't not love him. So if you have not read this one yet, you need to do that immediately. And that's it for some of my recent favorite reads that are available on Kindle Unlimited. I know a ton of romance readers are on KU, so I'm gonna try to keep these recommendations going. As always, links to all the books that I mentioned will be down in the description below, and don't forget to go check out Ana Luisa. There's a link in my description for that as well. Use my discount code for 20% off your order there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!